So once you've uh, created an account or signed into your DocHub account, you can do that by going to DocHub.com or just Googling DocHub and go. Uh, you can click New, and then wherever your file is, I'm using Google Drive, uh, go to where your file is, which it always takes me a while to find my files because I have so many folders, and click on the f the file that you want first. It can be in any format. It'll make it into a PDF when you put it into DocHub. Um, and then it'll load and it'll bring you to a new page for where you can edit your document. So here's the first document I have. And then to add a new one, click on these three little weird layered squares. Click on Actions. Go to Append Pages. And then go to merge and append file. And it'll bring you up to this thing again. And wherever your file, your next file is, go to your next one. Uh, you don't have to do it in order, but I did mine in order because once you uh, once you bring it up, it gives you the options of where to put it. So you can choose before, after. You can even choose the pages. So I just put it in there because I'm doing mine in order. And there, it, it'll, I'm showing you that it uh, every single page that was in the PDF came up. And now I'm just looking at it. And then you go back in, Actions, Append Pages, Merge and Append Pages, and then again go into the Google Drive. And you find it and so on and so forth. And I'm going to do this for each page that I need in my document so you can fast forward or keep watching me do this and it puts it right at the end because that's what I chose I chose after if you choose before it chooses before then go back in append to pages I'm going back in and if you if you want when the page comes up for you to choose before or after you can also choose which pages of the PDF that you're putting in actually goes into it. So you don't have to put all of the pages of the PDF in there. And then, so right on, once it loads, brings you to this, on that page there. And then, it puts all those pages in that I want, and I'll show you how to take, there's some stuff in here that I don't want in there. So I'm gonna show you how to take that stuff out, like those three questions right there. I don't want those on that page, and I don't want the students to get confused. So I'm going to look for the tool that I need. And so if you go to choose tool, it usually looks like a line. And then go to the square, or whatever, whatever shape you want. And put it over everything you want out of the document. Choose the color to white it out. Get rid of the line on the box as well. We can make that white so it doesn't show up. And you've whited all that out. And it will not show up when you print the PDF. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna do that again for all this nonsense. I'm gonna get rid of this. Once my mouth starts working. Odd pause. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all that. And it keeps the last settings I use. So it's white and white, white for the line, white for the box. Gets rid of that. And I'm gonna go look and see if there's anything else I need to get rid of. And I'm good. So then, once you've done all of that, you can also put like more directions on the page if you want to. If you haven't used DotCub before. So any page that you want new directions, you can just go in. Click this here and type in the directions. And then when you want to click off of something, you can click the uh, tab at the top that looks like a cursor, or you can just click over to the right side of the page or to the left side of the page, and it'll go off. And you can click those delete box to delete anything that you don't want in there. And that's the basic gist of the entire thing.